Hey, Jackie Jean here, and I'm going to share with you how I do the watercolor effect on one of my images. So we've got the finished product uh, right here, and this is the image we're going to start out with. All right, so I'm just going to move my Photoshop over. All right, so the first thing I'm going to be using is Action. This is the watercolor texture. And this image is a little bit smaller, so depending on the size of the image that you run this action on will determine also how strong it is. So you can definitely adjust it afterwards. So I'm going to press play, and we've got that effect. And we've if you open up your layers, you're going to see watercolor texture. So I'm just going to reduce the opacity to about 33% on this one. Actually, maybe even a little less. We'll do 29%. So again, you can adjust the level of the watercolor texture. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to flatten my image. And I'm going to go ahead and go over to my watercolor paper. This is PSD. Oops, different image that I was playing with. And I've got all of my layers here. Again, this is a PSD file, so I'm going to just grab my move tool right over here. I'm going to select my image and I'm just going to drag it on top. All right, so this layer right here says place image. You can place this image above or below this layer right here, but you want to make sure it's below these. So now because my image is a little bit smaller, I'm going to need to hit edit free transform. That way I can just adjust the size and bring it up. And you can kind of move your image where you want to, where you would like it. And I like it just right there. And then we've got the paper color where you can adjust it. This is just a kind of a slight hue on the image. And then we're done. So to get your download, go ahead and just click the link below and I've got a free action and a free overlay that you can use as well. And I hope you enjoy it. Thanks.